Hello everyone and welcome back to Ray's Aerospace in Kerbal Space Program 2 where I continue my construction of the International Space Station with STS-120 which is carrying up the Harmony module to the station which will require the removal of PMA-2 which has been troublesome before and so we'll see how that goes. Now the Harmony module is essentially identical to the Unity module in that it's a node and has a lot of docking ports and stuff docking to it and we don't have uh, six of the big docking ports which is probably what would be more proper. We instead have uh, two of the big docking ports on either end and then four of the Clampatron normal sized. So that's a little bit different, but that was so that I could fit into the bay. Now, because this was a copy of STS-88 with the Unity module, I used that. I used that craft file initially, and uh, we actually underfueled the shuttle for that. And I don't actually want to do that with the shuttle, so I'm gonna. I'll wait until we get to uh, uh, where we separate off the external tank, and then we'll use the external tank's mod propellant to top off the shuttle. Uh, so we'll do it like that. Uh, just so that we have all the fuel that I think we need. So other missions that we've done, we've had the shuttle fully fueled. So yeah, we are lined up with our target, the station, and we will go. We have Jeb, uh, Coralie, Herring, and Fredger. All right, so starting and ignition, and that's abnormal. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, maybe opening an old craft file is not a good idea. It looks like we have to replace the struts. Maybe. There might be other problems. I, I definitely feel like there's other problems. Well. <clears throat> yeah. The thing is, uh, the VAB is very laggy right now. And so it's very frustrating to work there. I think maybe I should recover before the shuttle topples over, huh? It's interesting, though. Why why didn't this booster actually ignite? I mean, when you think about it. Opening old craft files. Dangerous thing to do, apparently. Well... I'll try replacing the struts. I don't know. I mean, it doesn't seem like that would be enough to make a difference. There's the booster still going, by the way. Nice triumph of music. I think we'll wait until the booster cl crashes into the ground, shall we? I wonder if we'll get a nice big explosion from a distance. It's always good to have an explosion from a distance. Well, uh... Ah, oh, no, we... Oh, no, we did, we did. We got an explosion from a distance. Okay. Right. Uh, does... Oh, yeah, this this gets rid of the UI, so we could get a nice better view of this disaster. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Revert to VAB. I don't even know what I'm supposed to do at this point. Exactly. I'm guessing struts. I'm guessing replacing all the struts would be a good idea. Clearly the fuel line worked. <laughs> We, we did ignite the main engines. Takes a while for that menu to get stuff. Look at this. Look at this. And I don't know why, because uh, I mean... It doesn't have to deal with the stuff outside in here. Like, it doesn't have to deal with the station in here. And it keeps defaulting to runway 1. Uh, so I'm not putting the parachute on, because we've been landing slower rather than faster. The reason we've been having trouble is actually because we are too slow and so I have to keep my... Uh, it's hard to keep the nose up and we end up landing with too much vertical speed. So unless we start landing too fast, which will be a uh, fine change really, uh, we are probably not going to need the drag chute at all. What's happening is we're landing too slow. I'm just assuming that the struts didn't work. I mean, after all, we've had the struts in the same place for all the other missions. But you never know, it could just be a glitch. It could be like, we can't launch this anymore or something. Maybe we should launch from the runway ones. It has this weird flight controls now in normal mode, and then it says flight controls in docking mode in here. 
Don't know what that's about either. Okay, all our struts are changed. We'll go with pad 2. Maybe we'll have better luck on pad 2. Let's see if uh, the situation has improved. Press launch. Is it going to? I don't I don't think it's going to launch. <laughs> I'm going to save the vehicle again. Uh, this is not good. I think I need to restart. It's not showing the existing saved vehicles. Should I even save? Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe that's dangerous. Okay, we gotta restart the game. So yeah, things are getting a bit more dodgy here. And whenever it loads the game, even if I save at the Space Center, which I did for this save, it jumps right back to the station. I don't know why it decides to go to the station when I saved at the Space Center. It just goes to the previous vessel instead of where I saved it. Which is strange, but at least the station's still here. Okay, the weirdest thing just happened. Um, I pressed M. I was trying to type in Harmony when I was saving the STS-120 file. Type in, in the description, Harmony Module Launch. And when I pressed M, it brought me to the map view. I swear it thinks I'm in flight while I'm in the VAB, and that's like a lot of the problem right now. It did it again. When I press M, it goes to the map view. What the heck? Well, that's special. Okay, I'm just not gonna type in the description. Because if I press M, I'm gonna go to the map view. Well, shoot, let's try this again. <laughs> Jeb, uh, Jeb definitely seems like the right person for this. Uh, we all have a different crew. Well, it thinks we are going out to the pad. It's here. It's not shaking around all over the place. It's probably a good sign, but we have to time warp now so that we're in line with the target. Combined 30 right now. Interestingly, recently I haven't had the problem where the station is stationary. Okay, well, let's try it. Throttles up. And I'm not gonna click go. Spacebar. And ignition. Okay. Well, nominal sinking feeling this time. <laughs> oh boy. Replacing struts apparently is a thing. You have to get rid of the worn struts from old craft files. I wonder if that's gotta be fixed in the new update. I don't know. There's so many things. There's so many things. Okay, some semblance of a role program has been accomplished. Well, it continues. Okay, passing the speed of sound. All is looking well here. I went steeper this time, so it's much less wobbly. I went steeper because I had had enough of this game messing around with my shuttle. Booster set. Okay. I swear, maybe I should check the symmetry on the Cybertrons, but, uh, well, they're off, and they're off cleanly. Non-trivial thing given recent events, let's face it. Station is just clear on the other side of the planet from where we are, so... No particular benefit to going higher or lower right now. We'll probably just go lower. I guess that'll have to do. I want to dispose of the external tank properly, so we are going to leave it there and use the shuttle for the rest. Okay, external tank separation. Okay, and ignition. Okay, getting into orbit now and also correcting the inclination somewhat. 
and then we will wait. The trouble is going to be with PMA2, which last time we removed it, spun out of control, so... But reloading the game seemed to help with that. But there's no guarantees. In the midst of a rendezvous burn here, but yeah, it takes a while. You can see, basically... Yeah, that's how quickly we're burning right now. <laughs> I, I want to get the shuttle away from the station before we actually dock the payload. Maybe that'll help. I'm gonna try and meet it over here. Okay, that's as close as we need it. Oh, we went a little bit far. Okay, the station is 7.4 kilometers right now, but we need to start slowing down or thinking about slowing down. Okay, I think I'm going to take this situation and keep the shuttle a kilometer away from the station this time. And we'll probably move the shuttle away sooner rather than later. I'm going to save. Okay, in the dark again. Let's see if I can select a docking port. Okay, well, fine. Coupling. That one. Definitely lower docking and acquiring force. Um, yeah, hopefully the back one is also low. This one we should lower as well. Okay, undock. That's the payload. Let's go back to the shuttle. That's the station. The station has lost all of its mod propellant for some reason, again. We had lots before. Uh-oh. Well, okay. Well, that's why I made the save. <laughs> Let's see if the save works. I don't know if the save's gonna work. We must not turn to the station before turning to the shuttle. Maybe I should just have the payload get out on its own. Okay, undock. Right. And this should be the shuttle? Wanna switch vehicles? No, it's the station again. Oh gosh. No, I did the same thing. Okay, um... Yeah, we'll have to just move the payload out of the bay, I think. Without trying to switch to the shuttle first. Okay, now we're sort of going up. Okay, payload is free. Now, if I switch to the shuttle, nothing strange happens, right? Okay, we're gonna get this well out of the way. Okay, getting away. Uh, that doesn't seem to be getting away. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're going retrograde, right? Normally when you point this way, you go to lower orbit. And your orbital speed decreases! Okay. We're just going to uh, ignore the shell for now, as we do. Here's our payload. Let's go to the station with it. Now we've got a problem with PMA-2. It needed fuel, and the station apparently has lost all of its fuel. Right, we need fuel in TMA-2 to move it. But somehow all the propellant in the station has disappeared. So we might finally have to just junk it. But then it's just going to be floating in a very similar orbit to the station. <laughs> it's just not ideal. And probably spinning out of control. Okay, well, we're on track for the station. Let me try and switch to the station. Yeah, it's got nothing. And really, the payload that we're bringing over here 
doesn't carry enough mob propellant to supply this. Does the shuttle still have the same problem where retro burning is not what it seems to be? Okay, it just turns out that for some reason we weren't controlling from the cockpit anymore, which sort of begs the question, where were we controlling from that it was reversed? I just clicked uh, control from here, I didn't change the control orientation. But there's actually no control location on the shuttle where it would be the opposite side, and it was opposite. Um, this docking port is forward facing, there's a docking port on top that's that ways. But there's no reverse location for it to control from, <laughs> so that is a peculiar thing. But alright, let's turn retrograde. Uh, the module is still on its way to the station. I'm just hoping that getting the shell out of the way will reduce lag somewhat. Wish we had a good way of transferring propellant to the station right now. Okay, well, I'm, I'm sort of worried about the fact that our retrograde vector seems to be pointed at the station, though. Uh, we'll, we'll just go into a higher orbit. <laughs> That's uh, weird, but we will, in fact, go to a higher orbit. Uh, just to get away. Yeah, looks like going into low orbit will have us grazing the station like this. Uh, we have another problem here. Our vessel resources up there, that's actually for the payload, right? We have 7.82 tons here. And now 7.81 tons. But the vessel resources is 0 0.11 ton. That's for the Harmony module. Oh no. <laughs> Okay, we probably do have to pay attention to the Harmony module now. As it's getting closer to the station and we need to slow down. Well, at least it shows the proper resources up there right now. I think there is less lag when we move the shuttle away. Well, before we do anything with this, we're going to have to move EMA2. I think we're on the PMA2 end, or no? No, we're on the aft end. So, PMA2. What are we going to do with you? Does this really, really have no pro propellant, or is that because it's mimicking some other vehicle? Uh, it just briefly showed some propellant and then it eliminated all of it, I swear. Yeah, well, we can bring another PMA some other time. Uh, let's see what happens with PMA2 when we release it. Okay, it has been released. There's another docking port there. We could have... Harmony scoop it up if it doesn't suddenly go completely out of control. But it's probably going to suddenly go completely out of control. Oh, the shuttle just had a lurch. Let me just uh, have it turn that off and turn a bit just to make sure all pieces are together. Alright, uh, seems okay. Okay, Harmony Module. Uh, hope it's not important. I guess that was the PMA2. I think PMA2 just went crazy. There is much less lag around here when the shuttle is that far away. So we'll have to make a note of that for future operations. I think maybe we should just have the shuttle launch the payload into a very low orbit, maybe a hundred kilometers, and then have the payload do everything else. We should have room in the bay, except uh, we'll have to put extra RCS on everything, of course. But it might be the better way to go. 
than having the shuttle come all the way out here every time. Next time we're gonna have to have a replacement PMA-2, I suppose. It's not safe to have that PMA loose in the save. <laughs> hmm, that's another consideration. I mean, presumably it's not debris though. That piece has a controller on it, so maybe I can eliminate it in the tracking station. But yeah, much less lag around here right now. Maybe it was the PMA's fault the whole time. Maybe it's not even the shuttle. Well, come on, non-existent magnetism. It didn't magnetize. Uh, on these, the zero magnetism must actually be, be zero magnetism? I don't know. Or maybe it's confused because of the PMA? Maybe the PMA has got it messed up. Let me just increase the docking acquiring force then. Uh, that's probably dangerous though. Um, I, yeah, there's something wrong, because we should have connected there. Considering every other docking we've done. Well, there's daylight, but there's not much hope here. Ah, and we don't have enough fuel here to make any other attempt. So, we'll have to investigate our options here. I think the priority is to bring back the shuttle at this point. This thing is not delivered properly. We'll have to see. Maybe there's the possibility that we should revert, or I think we should just proceed and then we'll try again. And maybe on another approach, this docking port will be magnetizable or will acquire us. I don't know. That's uh, that's the mysterious PMA two. Okay, the shuttle is outside of render range, so that's probably okay. It could be that eventually the station is gonna have a problem with PMA two floating out there. I don't know. But we'll turn back to the shuttle and see if it's in one shape or many shapes. <laughs> Okay, well, it says we're controlling it. It's got the right amount of fuel this time. We should be far enough from the station that we can time warp. But we'll focus on coming back down now. Well, we're way off from the KSC this time. Should we go into a higher orbit to time it out, or a lower orbit? Well, I think that should be a 34-minute orbit. Once we reach periapsis, we'll see the exact orbital period, but that's a 17 minute gap there. Yep. Okay, 34 minute orbit. Remember, uh, Kerbin goes around every six hours, so if you have a 10 orbit sort of phasing, then that's 36 minutes. 11 orbits will be 32.75 minutes. And, of course, 12 will be 30 minutes. So we're trying to figure out some sort of orbital period in between 11 and 12. So between 32.75 and 36. Because it turns out that we seem to be like half an orbit off of the KSC right now. Okay, so I think we will be coming down on the next orbit here. So we'll go to 23 kilometers, which is what I've been doing. Okay, we have entered the atmosphere. Trying to get to the right orientation here. We've, we're have we coming in a little bit heavy. Okay, so that is our situation as we're coming down with STS-120. It seems as we are approaching the southern tip of this continent that we are lower, but a little bit faster. So it's a little bit tough to say. The impact point is south of that little bit that juts out. But I think it was closer last time. 
So we might have a little bit less energy right now than the previous time, which is possibly what I want anyway. This is the view out here. We can see the Space Center complex is right there. Well, we're probably going to have to make the same maneuver as last time, the U-turn and coming in like that. We're definitely not going to fly straight in like this. Well, we're going to start turning here. It looks like we don't have the serious cloud situation we had last time. The world's most dangerous U-turn. <laughs> uh, well, let me start the engines again. It's giving triumphant music, but I'm not feeling that I have the energy to get there right now. Okay, well that's all the thrust we have. Jebediah, Herring, Gregor, and uh, Greg Dredd are coming in here. We keep losing speed as we dive. Well, here's the way I always have my problem. If we are going forward fast enough, we won't land as hard. It's weird, but that's how it is. But can I keep enough speed? We're obviously coming in very askew. Uh, we bounced. Uh. Always. Uh, eek! Uh. Whoa, no, no, not that, not that! Ow. 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 Our nose cone took the blow. Our nose cone took the blow. Oh, what did that just do? Ah, uh, yeah. Still working on the landings here. Still working on the landings. I always end up with too little speed right at the end. It's horrible. Okay, well, let's recover vessel. At least they're alive. Oh, that's not the station. Oh, PMA2 was dubbed the station. Why doesn't it have those? So, clicking on the map while we are at the station lets us destroy debris. But I do worry that maybe that might cause problems for the save at some point. Because I haven't done this before and you never know what might cause a glitch. Well, seems like it's all gone. Default name 23 is our station. We just want to get rid of default name 22 and the PMA adapter, which is combined 30. Well, let's go back to the tracking station for that. Anyway, there's plenty of debris here that we can't destroy, though. Uh, uh, doing that from the station didn't exactly eliminate everything. Okay, station is still here, but we were unable to deliver harmony to it. We we're going to have to try that again. But maybe getting rid of the PMA-2 will reduce the lag. I think the PMA-2 was a problematic part. So I'll have to try that whole STS. We'll have to have STS-120 Redux or something. So with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.